What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to our England 2002 player review. This, yeah, I mean, this is a good week, lads, if you are looking to spin. Genuinely, I think you have got Beckham, who's one of the best players in the game now with this card. And you've also got the Romario usurper, Michael Owen. This guy, lads, looks absolutely insane. His stats are just off the chart like he's got everything there's one or two things that stop Michael Owen's card from being I think one of the best in the game and obviously he plays a little bit different than Romario you know he's not as good as Romario I think um but then I've played a lot with Romario and I just trust Romario one-on-one -on -one in every situation and then we've got Paul Scholes we already do have Paul Scholes and I can give you some really good key tips on using Scholesy but yeah this is a card that goes to 96 overall Michael Owen goes to 96 overall and Beckham goes to 97 overall although I would train them up slightly different just you know just because they've got a really good overall here doesn't mean that it's the best version of the card for you so yeah we are going to go in here and have a look at Michael Owen it's in this pack here that you can see with the rest of the players we're going to start with Michael Owen and uh yeah B rating he's got low um center of gravity and good balance straight off the rip he's got offensive awareness ball control dribbling and finishing and speed and acceleration this is an incredible card and especially especially as you've got 41 levels to go lads it's insane realistically it's insane because you're going to be able to train this guy up in a multitude of ways as I always like to do player skills slightly let him down I will say that right when I'm comparing Michael Owen I always compare any striker if he's a run and gun striker that he's not an aerial threat I always compare him with Romario it always comes back to Romario lads you'll never forget your first but genuinely I think that Michael Owen is the closest that we're going to get um, to Romario especially for me in terms of play style yes Rumenegi is there yes Mbappe is there but in terms of Michael Owen in terms of their height in terms of their stats in terms of how they actually play um obviously Michael Owen is a goal poacher but I think his player skills do let this card down a little bit I would say that it balances it a little bit and also his form is standard which is a small little issue as well especially if you're going to not have that many strikers on the bench that are going to replace him because usually when I have Romario up front I usually have somebody like Morientes or Levin Dowski or Jan Collar who's an aerial threat so that if it's not working or Mario on the ground I bring an airborne man I bring it airborne I attack from all angles and Michael Owen is not going to be on my bench if I get him he's going to be kind of looking to be my starter so it is difficult to kind of balance your squad right especially with you five subs but anyway getting on from that absolutely incredible stats as we're going to go over to football db and take a look at this guy we maxed him out at a 95 because we wanted to have that offensive awareness and finishing at 90 each and we've also got speed and acceleration at 90 and 93 with 86 balance his dribbling is 86 ball control 84 with tight possession 84 and his kicking power is 80 i mean you will not get a better card i think than this if you are looking just for a complete striker for on the ground obviously he's not going to give you much in the air he's got no head in the ability he's got no head and skills he's got no real um threat in the air but obviously you're not going to be buying him for that incredible card absolutely incredible card as I, as I said he also has injury resistance one which will you be able to be, be able to be able to be able to be able to be butchering him in the pitch and will he pick up injuries I don't know man in the course of a game maybe but I mean you should have the damage done by then so yeah he is an absolutely incredible card I think he's one of the best cards that they've released in a long long time moving on to Scolzi we do have Scolzi we had the other version of Scolzi which was the Man United legend one that was a bit available for free from the shop um, a really good card man he has got unwavering form we've got B rating he's got all the player skills that you could possibly want for shooting and passing he's also got pinpoint crossing if you are playing playing a wide center midfielders which I'll show you in a future video how it can be effective and he's also got really nice uh, stats lads really nice stats I mean I thought when I got Scolzi that his acceleration would let him down slightly but it doesn't and his card won't because as a center midfielder you've got two options as a center midfielder you either have a guy that's going to be a passer like you know Tony Cruz Kevin De Bruyne uh, or somebody like that or else you have an all-rounder that can bring the ball forward that plays as a link between a CMF and an AMF that brings the ball forward with dribbling with pace with running with shooting such as Goretzka or such as Sergio Canales or two of my favorites um or DePaul is obviously one of the favorites of, of people online as well but yeah when we max out Paul Scholes here we do max him out to the 96 overall he's got 94 kick and power so you're going to be able to ping passes and ping balls around he's also got 96 loft 
lofted pass, 93 low pass, 89 ball control, which is vitally important now with V2.2. Aggression is good, defensive engagement is good, balance and stamina are good. He's got unwavering form. Yeah, a very, very good card, lads. One of the best center midfielders there. If you're not bothered about having him as an engine. I mean, he's not an engine. Like, he's not a box-to-box or a destroyer that you can play in the middle of the pitch. And that's going to be blocking balls and intercepting balls. I mean, if I'm playing Scolzi, I'm playing him as my man that picks the passes, that links everything through passing. He's not a run-and-gun type player. Um, I will do a video on kind of, yeah, talking about different play styles that you guys might enjoy and what players you should be buying with the playing styles. I know a lot of people are requesting that but we will get onto that as well so then last but not least we do have the main man david bex now i've trained bex slightly different than um maybe he should be uh just because i wanted to have that speed of him up we'll get to him in a second but yeah you know what you're getting with beckham lads probably the best crosser in the game like it's straight off the rip without touching this card who's got 39 levels to go 7th of June 2002 with England, everyone, every English fan remembers that game, even, you know, me, uh, I even remember that game, every international kind of football supporter will remember that game, um, where Bex was absolutely dominant, uh, and you can see that the free kicks are, you know, going to be represented there with a 90 set piece taken and 92 curls straight off the rip that is insane he's also got really nice ball control and low pass and lofted pass like you're going to get an 89 lofted pass which is one of the highest rates of any card and you haven't even trained him up so what lets this card down what balances this card well i think the big thing that balances it is the speed right but you can get that up to 79 speed and 76 acceleration if you want, right, you can choose a lot of different things. I pumped into to, uh, shooting because I wanted to get the place kicking up or the set piece kicking up. And I also wanted to curl up um, as well as the finishing that if you are getting in the box like with Beckham, you know, especially if you're playing him as a right mid, you're not going to be getting that many shots on target, you would imagine, you know, depending on your play style. So all you want to be doing is crossing. So potentially, you know, you could take away one or two from dribbling and you could put it to passing, but you're already maxed out at 99 with 10 on the with 10 levels here in the passing ability right so what you know you can train him up in a load of ways he goes to level 97 no matter what anyway you could train him up in a load of ways you could give him another one onto acceleration you could make him 80 speed with 89 stamina if you're going to be getting up and down the pitch and turn him into a bit of a workhorse but yeah i would definitely be using him as just a complete passer and a complete guy that can get the ball into the box i would probably max out everything just to be able to get that up i would probably max out that a little bit as well and you should be scoring like 8 out of 10 free kicks with Bex, lads. He's just incredible. So that is it, lads, for another week of the Epic Players. I think, yeah, it's definitely worth it if you are looking for a dominant player. I I mean, I, I don't know whether to spin for Beckham or not, man. I think I might get a few coins um just to just to be able to spin but I, I i definitely might buy one of the packs as well i'll see what the crack is but uh yeah that is it for me lads don't forget to like favorite and subscribe if that is what you want to do subscribe most of all and still get involved in that giveaway that we're doing over on youtube i will be hopefully live streaming later today and if not today tomorrow so yeah that should be a bit of crack i will talk to you later lads peace